Vision talk, man. Who the fuck we got in the building today? Trap Casino. What the fuck going on, y'all? Okay, cool, man. For the people first time tapping in, let me know where you're from and all that. Um, I'm originally from California, but I grew up on the south side, Rex Road, Mount Zion, 231. Okay, so you say you're originally from Calico Park. Inglewood. So what was what, what major people move out here, do you know? Um, yeah, so unfortunately my granddad got killed by the police in L.A., so LAPD. Um, it was a big situation with that. My dad ended up going to court about it. Um, they ended up getting a big settlement and stuff, so they decided to move to another state. Um, do so all the stuff that was going on in LA at the time. So they found a house in Atlanta, and we moved out here, and I've been here ever since. <laughs> Shane, what, what part you say you uh, moved to when you came out here? Um, Clayton County. Oh, so you on the south side. Mm -hmm. Shane, what was it like growing up out there? Um, it was cool. Um, I got into a lot of stuff. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I know for a fact it wasn't as hard as other cities in Atlanta, though. Like you know, like you hear stories and you go around other cities and stuff, and it's like Glen County ain't it ain't too rough, but it still get active out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like it's it's the same as anywhere else. You have issues and you grow up going through little things. You experience things. You probably go to jail or maybe you don't. <laughs> you probably just see a lot of different type of stuff. It's just I feel like it's almost the same as anywhere else, but everywhere just have its differences, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you grew up with both your parents? Mm-hmm. And so yeah. when you say, like, you got into a lot of shit, like, what, what type of shit you was getting into as a kid? Um, well, shit, I, I used to get in a lot of fights. I grew up fighting, so it was just like, that was my major thing. I got in so many fights in school. Um, even though I was smart, I always got my work done and stuff, but I used to, like, I used to skip school, I used to fight, I used to... So what was the cause of fighting, like? I don't know, yeah, like, my or... family be saying people be hating, but no, nah, I never got bullied. I never went for that. Um, it was more so, it, it might have been more so, like, oh, motherfuckers bully? trying to bully, and I'm not going for oh, it or something. Shit. Like, I just get into yeah. it with everybody. Like, I was quiet, so motherfuckers probably thought I was just, you know, soft or something. But when it got time to get shit going, it was time, you see what I'm saying? So, I just really, um, I don't, I can't really say what the what the meaning for the fighting was. It was just a lot of kid shit, like, shit. little kid shit. You got siblings? Mm-hmm. How I, many siblings you got? I got, my mom got six kids. I got four brothers and one little sister. And how many of them is like, like, wh wh where do you fall in line with this? I got a big brother, and I got three little brothers and a little sister. We all three years apart except my little sister. Uh -huh. So, shit, my big brother 28, I'm 25. Well, he just turned 29, I'd be 26, and then it goes on down. So. And then my little sister seven, so. Oh, man. So I know y'all was probably pulling up deep to the fights. Yeah, most definitely was. <laughs> most definitely was. I remember I had this one fight. This girl, we were supposed to be cool. She stole my phone at school, and um, I knew she stole it. Really, the boy, this boy stole it. He snatched it out of my pocket on some weird shit, and he passed it to her. I'm thinking, at first, I'm thinking we playing. We all skipping class. We wasn't even supposed to be out here. He done snatched it and ran off with it, you feel me? But throughout the time he done passed it to her but i seen the shit yeah. so i'm like i get to getting serious like where my phone at where my phone at they like oh we don't know where your phone at we don't know where your phone at i'm like what the fuck what y'all mean like, i know y'all got my phone stop playing with me like so the bell rang we were supposed to go to lunch my partner walked up on me he like twin they got your phone i know they got your phone i just seen shawty with your phone she got your phone right there i'm like i know she got my phone i seen him pass that he like uh um, he like don't let her walk out with your shit she gonna got down duck it out type shit i'm like say no more we walk into the cafeteria, we get to the cafeteria, got them. You know how in school people just peep the commotion. Yeah. It was just so weird. We got in the cafeteria and she she went on the whole other side. I went on this side, I see my folks, I go stand right there. I'm standing up the whole time because they standing up, you feel me? I'm trying I'm watching them the whole time, you feel me? Cause like he said, don't let them go off of my phone because they're gonna duck it off or whatever. Yeah. So boom, I'm watching them. They they walk off and go into the bathroom. It was about three of them. The three girls, they walk off and go to the bathroom. It was the bathroom. I went to Morrow High School, by the way. So it's a bathroom right by the cafeteria. We come out the door and make the left bathrooms right there. They went out the cafeteria. When they went out the door, I went out the door behind them. When I went out the door, the whole fucking cafeteria followed me. I swear to God, I'm not lying. The whole fucking cafeteria followed me. I went in the bathroom behind them. One of the girls like, oh, bitch, why the fuck you following us? We ain't got your shit. I'm like, bitch, I ain't even talking to you. Bitch, where my phone at? Da, 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 da. 
we get to going up to our next thing. I know I done hit the hole. We fighting in the bathroom. We find teachers coming in there, school police coming there, principals coming in there, the whole fucking cafeteria trying to get in the little bitty ass bathroom. They all surrounding the doorways. The fucking police and shit can't even get in at first. So we fighting for a minute because there's so much commotion going on. They can't even get in the bathroom. Man, they stopped the fight. This bitch getting in the hallways, kicking and screaming. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm like, bitch, let that bitch go. Please let her go. Because she doing all this extra ass shit. I don't do all that. So anyway, long story short, goddamn, we get to the office. They come ask me, like, what your phone look like? I tell them what my phone look like. They like, oh, is this your phone? I'm like, yeah. They like, all right, boom, gave me my phone. We end up getting suspended out of extra shit. Anyway, long story short, we leave. I leave. I stay right by the school. Mind you, I stayed on Rex Road, so I used to walk to and from school. So they called my mom and told her what happened. My mom said, let her walk home. I walked home. Not 30 minutes later, I'm sitting on the porch telling my mom and them what happened, telling them the whole story how I'm telling you. This bitch comes walking down the fucking street. I swear to God. She came walking down the street with a nigga. So... I tell my mom, I'm, I'm in the middle of the story. I look up, I'm like, matter of fact, that looked like her right there. It was her, I swear to God. She came down the street. Mind you, my uncle stayed up the street too. So she, she had to walk past his house to get to my house. So she walked down the street. She walked with a nigga or whatever. By the time I go back in the house to change my clothes, get right, come back outside. By the time I come back outside, she was in front of my house. My uncle had to pull down the street in his car. This bitch had a rock in her hand. My uncle like, bitch, drop the rock, drop the rock, da, da, da. She dropped the rock. She walked up to my mama, my mama walked up. She like, I don't mean no disrespect. I just came to fight y'all no whoop, whoop, whoop. I ran up and punched that hoe so hard. Bitch, not you just came to my house. You did not just come to my fucking house. Like, that was crazy as fuck me. So I got down, I ran up, I punched her. We fine, we fine, we fine. Whole neighborhood and came outside. It was so many people outside. I'm whooping this girl ass. I'm not even lying. Like I tell, I tell them a fuck about lost the fight. You win some, you lose some. But I'm literally whooping this girl's ass out here. Like literally, her she came down there with a bra on. Her bra on came off. Titties out. My little brother's outside. Kids outside. Everything. I'm like, get this hoe a shirt. As soon as she put the shirt on, we find again. That was the craziest fight I had for real. That's crazy. Like, and what grade was that? I was in like tenth grade. I think I was in tenth grade or eleventh. Cause I was just before you even started that story, I was just about to ask like, how long did the the fight and shit last? Like up to a what long grade? time. Like it was, and we had beef even after that. But I we ain't fight no more after that. Like, but that day was just so long. I was literally like down there fighting all day type of shit. Like right. the fight at school was so long, and then I got home and this bitch decided to come to my house and it was just like, bitch, I gotta beat your ass now because you just came to my house. That's right. crazy. Like yeah, you, gotta. you bold as fuck. And not even the fact that she came to my house. It was a whole crowd of people at the top of my street walking down with her, like behind her. Like they was a little far behind. Safe. But like damn, this bitch, did you tell these folks she was finna come to my house or something? Like it was a whole damn there's the whole school, the whole neighborhood walking, <laughs> bunch of kids, like a whole group of their ass. They knew what was going on. She was already coming over there, popping her shit like she was finna come do something. Yeah. But if you won at school, why you come to my house? The fight should have been over with at school if you won. Exactly. But you obviously got your ass beat at school, so you tried to come to my house again and got your ass beat again. So it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> how, how, was your, how did your parents feel about like all the fighting you did and shit? Like? My parents from the hood. Oh, so they was with the shit. Yeah, my folks were with the shit. They so not. Your mom was out there while you was fighting. Yeah, she was out there. Whoop her ass, whoop her ass, all that. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. What's up? Anybody jump in? We doing it. My big brother was out there. See, my big brother didn't grow up with us, but he just happened to be in Georgia at the time. Yeah. He out there talking to the nigga crazy, like, "What's up? You want to do something too? Like, what? What we doing? All my family on it. We on it. Type like shit. I ain't never had to hide nothing from my family. Never had to be nice around my family and then come around people and act. A different type of way. My folks know what's going on with me. Everybody know what's going on. I be I do everything around my mama and my daddy. I smoke with them. I all that. <laughs> Literally like. So what that. would you say like how did y'all wait time about you you had smoke with your parents? Like young? Not young. Not like, young, no. Nah. Like, I'm saying like of age. <laughs> young, like. I can't remember I can't even remember the first time I smoked with my parents. But But I was gonna ask though, like how did y'all even build that type of bond though? Because you don't normally see that, like my parents like I said, they hood. I grew up around a lot of shit. I ain't gonna put all my business out there, but my folks smoke, so we don't have these conversations because I got a child now. Yeah. So we don't have these conversations so to where like the apple don't fall too far from the tree, you feel me? Like I seen them smoking and stuff. Not to say that they just influenced me to smoke, because I could have chosen not to smoke if I wanted to. Yeah. But the apple don't fall too far from the tree. So shit. type shit. So that's that's just what it is. That's just how we just they already knew like it's not they kind of already knew, like. 
No, I know what you're talking about because I smoke with my mom and shit. Like, yeah. It'll be one of those things where, like, they know you smoke and clearly you know they smoke type shit. Right. So the- but I done been around parents. I done been around people with their parents that they don't smoke or their parents don't smoke. Or their parents might do smoke but don't smoke with them type yeah, shit. Type like, I don't. Shit. My mama and them always said, I'd rather you come get weed from me or smoke with me than be out here smoking on the streets yeah. and get some fake shit or anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, man, that's funny. My mom, you know, so she be needing me to roll up for her and everything. <laughs> yeah, that too. My mom be trying to get me to roll up. But see, my mom ain't getting old. She just be trying to get me to roll, but she smokes swishers and I don't smoke that. I, I be like, Mom, you know I'm not going to roll that. I roll yeah. leaves. I'm not going to roll no swishers. I'm good. <laughs> so did you uh, end up graduating? Um, unfortunately, I didn't. I didn't. But I could have. Around 12th grade is when I started really getting in trouble. Um, so... I went to tomorrow. I went tomorrow all my years, and then I ended up getting arrested. Um, my twelfth grade, the beginning of my twelfth grade year. When I got out, I went to Perry Learning Center. It's like a um, open campus in an alternative school, yeah. but I went to the open campus part to get my credits up. Mm-hmm. I ended up going to jail again. Shit. After that, um, after that, they said I missed too many days, and I was supposed to re-enroll. And it was just so much going on. I didn't do it. Wait, when you say you went to jail again, was it for the same arrest or was it for something? Different? Something. It was just something different. The same type of shit, but it wasn't the same case. It was a whole other case. Type shit. So um, after I got out the second time, they said I missed too many days at Perry. So I was supposed to re-enroll when the next um, time came around, which would which would have been a couple months from then. But I just, I don't know. So now I'm going to get my GED. Because my um my GPA was always high. I was only missing like three credits. I literally was smart as fuck in school. Like mm-hmm. any teacher you wanna interview, ask anything, like they gonna tell you like I got my work done fast, I had good grades, I got certificates, awards, all type of shit. I just fucked up my last year, so yeah. it kinda got me. And then I gave up, so it was like fuck, fuck it. it. All right. <laughs> but now I'm at the point where I don't really need it, but I want it. Just to say I got it. Yeah. Because I got a business, you feel me? I'm, I make money, I take care of myself without it. But I just want to have it just to say I got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Same shit, not facts. And with the jail shit, was you just in and out or was it like... Oh, no, I don't be no in and out. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> I got locked up twice. I was 17 and I was 18. I'm 25 now. I ain't been in jail since I was 18. Yeah. I keep myself out of the way. No, no, when I was saying in and out, I'm saying like the, during those times that you got arrested. Like, oh, no, it wasn't in and out. It was just back to back. Type I was just, I had a lot going on at the time. Type just shit. fucking up, moving wrong, and not thinking right, and putting myself in positions I shouldn't have been in. So, you that was just a phase. Jail, did you? Huh? You ain't getting a fight in jail, did you? Oh, nah, nah. When I was in jail, it was, it was pretty smooth. Uh, I ain't really had no issues in jail. Type shit. The first time, I was so lost and confused. Like, But, I know my voice crack, it's a little cold in <laughs> but um, I'm anemic too. That's why oh, man, <laughs> I'm getting the chills. Nah, you good? I should have bought a jacket. But um, as far as jail, it was pretty cool. I ain't gonna say it was pretty cool. It's not cool to be in jail yeah, at all. Right. But I'm saying, as far yeah, as my yeah. experience, I didn't have nobody trying to do nothing to me. I didn't really. The only thing I did not eat that food. I was eating oranges and little cookies and little shit like that. They gave me a fruit cup one day. I was so happy. I'm like, where the fuck y'all get this from? <laughs> I ain't never seen one of these in here, boy. Ooh. I was happy as hell. Okay, but, so where where did all in all of this story did the music come along? And like, um, the music been around. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, when we moved to Georgia, my daddy um had a studio on Rex Road mm-hmm. in the house we um moved in. We owned the house, so he had a studio in there. So, like I said, I was five when I came to Georgia. I was um, I was born in California. I came out here when I was five, and I grew up out here. So, since five, I've been around music. I don't I don't really too much remember before that. I don't know if he had a studio in California. If he did, he don't really talk about it. But I know for a fact when we came to Georgia, he built that studio down there, and it just went up from there. Like he he literally don't work with everybody from Derez to Shine to Waka Flocka to Young Thug to like literally a lot of folks. But it's all back in the day, you feel me? Like, I recently came across the Reds of Sean and I had to introduce myself, whatever, because I did an audition for this um, show with these girls who do music. It's called Baddies Make Music too. So it's coming out, um, season one about to come out. We about to start filming for that. So all the girls do music. So I auditioned for that and I made the show, but the Reds was one of the um, um, judges for the show. So I had introduced myself to them or whatever, told them who my folks was. He like, oh yeah, I remember you. I, I used to be over there at the studio, da da da. Yeah, so music used to basically just used to always be around 
when I turned like I say like 15, 16, 17, I started being in the studio. The first song I dropped had like 2,000 views. Like it went crazy um, for me as a person who just dropping some shit. So like, like, how was it recording your first song? Um, like you just what made you record your first song? Like somebody did anybody? Me and my homegirl, <laughs> it's crazy. I got this homegirl named Kay. Me and my homegirl, I almost grew up with her. She moved from North Carolina, came out here. And we've been cool ever since. But um, we just used to hang with these dudes who used to be in the studio. And they just always just record. So we like, shit, let's just get in there one day. <laughs> so we got in there. And I always knew how to record. I worked, this, worked the computer and stuff. Because like I said, I watched my daddy had a studio growing up. So I always knew how to like record myself or record people and stuff. So it started like that. Like yeah. they'll probably be recording. They'll be like, hey, record me. Like, okay, but I sit here and record you, whatever. Then one day we just like, we might as well just record something. And I used to always write music too, but I just used to never record it. So, um, yeah, we just recorded it one day and we dropped it on SoundCloud. It got like 2,000 views. I'm like, I just started doing music. She don't take it serious. Was she that when you were still in high school? Or you was out of yeah, school? I was in high school. Well, okay. mm -hmm. And you dropped and you said you got like 2,000 views, so people was fucking with it? Mm hmm Yeah, it, folks were reposting it and everything. So I'm like, yeah. That's what you want to do. I'm like, yeah. Type I got shit. it. But she, I don't know, she don't do music. She just never really, she only made that one song. Or we probably made like two songs or something, but she don't do music for real. But I always just kept going with it. I don't know, but then I stopped for a long time. I recently just stopped for so long, but I started back. So now I'm back on it. Yeah, I was just going to ask because, you know, you typically after, like, you get your first start, I was going to say, like, when would you say, like, you actually started taking it serious? Um, I think I'm taking it serious now. I don't think I ever took it serious. Not as serious as I should have, yeah. probably. I, pro I probably always could have took it more serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, I probably could have... Like, as far as finding my flow and, like, recording music, making music that actually sound like something. Mm -hmm. Like, I used to always just go in there and just record anything and just, well, yeah, this shit fine. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's all right. You saying something, but your voice don't sound right. It's not recorded right. It's not mixed right. Like, mm -hmm. when you say take it serious now, I want my shit to sound right. I'm not just going to go in here and just record some shit and just be like, okay, let's drop it. No, I need to listen to it. I need to make sure. If one little thing is off, no, let me re-record that. I ain't dropping that like that. Like, yeah. it's just be like, that's what I think of when I when I say I'm taking it more serious. I want it to sound like something. I don't want to just throw out music that's just recorded. Like, yeah. a lot of people just record shit and just throw it out there, and it don't mean nothing or sound like nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you shot videos, right? Yeah, I got videos. I got plenty. Well, not plenty. I feel like I should have more. But I got a few little videos, like on my YouTube and stuff. So have you dropped a project yet? Um, I got one little EP out, but it's old. Like I said, I just stopped music for a long time. I think I dropped that one in like 2021. I think I think it was 2021. But um, I think I'm gonna drop an EP for my birthday. My birthday August 1st, so it's coming up. And that uh, shooters that dropped last year? No, nah, I just dropped shooters like, um, last month. Oh, last month. Le or this month. I gotta get keep up with my dates, but mm -hmm. yeah, I just dropped shooters though. That's that's recent. I actually went to the studio. I went. I wrote it down. See, I've been trying. I've been in between writing music and punching in. Mm -hmm. I can't freestyle, but I can go in there and bar for bar. But I've been writing music too. So this song, shooters, I wrote it, and I went to the studio. And when I got to the studio, it was gone. I swear to God, I cannot find it. I'm like, what the fuck? I was so mad. Yeah. I'm like, not I just lost this whole song. And it's crazy because my homegirl, Jasmine, she said, um, I'm, she said we're going to the studio tomorrow, boom. I'm like, okay, bet. So that night I had went over the song, listened to the beat, made sure, all right, I got everything wrote down. It's good, it's good to go. I get to the studio, that shit was gone. I had to sit there and rewrite the whole song. I don't know how I remembered it. Yeah. I don't know how. I sat there and rewrite. I was just thinking like, okay, what'd I say after that? What'd I say after that? Okay, what'd I say? Like... And I sat there and wrote the whole song. And I'm like, oh, shit, I just wrote the whole song. Like, quick, because I had remembered it, because I had went over it. I had wrote the song like a week ago, but I had kept playing the beat, kept going over it. So I'm like, I know I remembered the hook, but the verse, I was like, damn, I might not remember this shit, but I did. Type shit. And then I recorded that shit, and then the cameraman pulled up. That was another crazy thing, because I was trying to have the cameraman pull up and shoot the mic video while I was there. 
But I'm like, damn, I just forgot the damn song. But I remembered it, so I'm like, babe, I recorded it, and he pulled up, and he shot the little mic video, and I dropped it. But I did all that shit in one day. And you dropped the I'm Back before that? Yeah, I dropped that before Was that. Was that, like, your first official song, Back For Real? No. No. I dropped a song in October called Real Stepper. That song hard. And that was probably my um, official little song, me popping back out. And then when I did the auditions, I did the I'm Back song. And they was like, you got to drop that. I need this. You got to drop that song. So I dropped it. But um, that wasn't really meant to be dropped, for real. I just dropped it because people was asked for it. Like, multiple people was asked for it. Like, what that song you did at the auditions? Like, da, da, da. I'm like, I'm going to drop it. <laughs> so I dropped it. Um, and then I dropped Shooters. So I dropped like three songs recently. Um, I want to do a video to that real stepper song because I feel like it got potential. But it's getting a little old. Type shit. So I don't know. But I still can. Yeah, no. I also, too, I wanted to get into that, that baddie show, like when you said uh, that you auditioned for. Yeah. Because that's fire that you you on the show. Mm hmm. Is this, is this one of them shows where they be fighting a lot? Like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It's reality TV. I'm pretty sure some people going to be fighting. Yeah. But I pretty much then developed a cool relationship with all the girls. I don't really have no problems with that's nobody. That's how I start off. And I, yeah, that's how I start off. And I'm, but I'm a chill person. I'm yeah. cool. I'm a, I'm a vibe for real. I just be chilling. Like It's not too many people that don't like me. Mm -hmm. But I can take it there. I can, for real. But I try not to. So, yeah, it's probably going to be some fighting. How do you feel about um, some of these type of shows, though, where 90% of the shit just be fighting and it just... It's honestly, entertaining. Like, some girls look bad. Like, it's entertaining, but yeah, it do make people look bad. Um, if you looking at it like that. Yeah. Because realistically, some of them people be getting them out of character and all type of stuff. It be a lot for the cameras. You never really know. Even though they say it's reality TV and it's not scripted, you never really know if this really how this person right. is for real. She probably just doing all this for the camera or whatever. But then that's a whole other thing because I wouldn't want to fuck with nobody who's doing all this extra shit for the camera. You feel me? Like, it's a lot, but you wouldn't know until you actually get to meet them people because I, I, I doubt them people are like that on an everyday basis. Yeah, no, like. facts. But I even fuck with the title of your show, Baddies Make Music, because it's something to that. Like, yeah. my thing with some of these shows, I ain't gonna lie, it, I just be like, yo, what is this just fight night? Like, Baddies Fight Night? Like, that's all they do. <laughs> yeah, like, they, they might as well make like, the Baddies it's, Fight it's Night. There's nothing else to it. That's why you say, like, make music. I'm like, damn, that's kind of hard. Like, all, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody mm -hmm. make music. This girl, um, her name is Jasmine. She um, came up with the show. She the CEO. So she put together the show and everything. Um, but yeah, everybody either rap or sing. Um, it's, I think it's like one or two girls that sing on there, but everybody rap. But yeah, everybody got good music um, for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I think that's, I think it's interesting too because you don't see too many shows. And she like mixing it, like baddies and music. She yeah. mixed that together. I like how she did it. So I was definitely excited to be a part of the show for sure. I can't wait till we start filming. It's gonna be lit. No, that's hard. And how would you describe your style? Um, that's a good question. Um, my style as far as what though? Like making music, like your music. My style of music would be um, I make real relatable music. I think, but my music, I know it's only relatable to certain people because everybody ain't witnessed and experienced things that I have. But um, I guess I would be in like a gangster rap kind of genre. Like I don't really rap like girly and like shaking ass and all that shit. I don't really do all that. Um, so it would probably be more like gangster rap, I guess, like real shit, type something shit. like that. Yeah. And that's just yeah. based off because how you grew up, type shit. Yeah, type shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Have you ever made any melodic or? Um. Heartfelt I ain't gonna shit. lie, um, heartfelt, yeah. You never had no song for a nigga? <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, I'm not gonna lie. My friend Tati, that's like my sister, she, um, I got a song with her um, called Bussin' About Mine. And that's like a little song basically about our nigga type yeah, shit on some shit. hood type of shit. Like, so yeah, I done made music like that before, but that's not my style. Like, I will if somebody want me to feature on some shit like that. And then, like, my little, like, my recent music, I be trying to throw little bars in because I understand everybody don't want a girl that raps so hard all the time. Yeah. So I try to throw little sexy bars in or whatever the fuck. But <laughs> I don't really. So is you, is, would you say, like, that's how you is in real life? 
Yeah, like, I don't so do no capping like, in my you're rap. Not like soft and cuddly with <laughs> with me. Nah, nah. See, <laughs> that's crazy. I just had a conversation the other day. A female is naturally soft with a nigga. If she not, that means the nigga not doing something right. Like, yeah. I'm naturally hard, so it 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 does take certain type of niggas to fuck with me. You get what I'm saying? Like, a lot of niggas probably wouldn't fuck with me because I'm too hard or I act like a nigga or this or that. But a lot of niggas like that shit. Like, I don't know. Like, it just, mm -hmm. I, don't, I, I can be soft. I will be soft behind closed doors. I'm not finna, yeah. like, I ain't even behind closed doors. I'll be soft in public. It just, it depends on who it is for real. Like, are I you, can't be soft with everybody. Are, are you crazy? Would you, oh have, my you God. have you been called, no, cause no one's gonna say they're crazy. Have you been called crazy? I have done some crazy things. <laughs> I don't think nobody ever labeled me crazy, like toxic, like crazy. No, I'm really chill, but I will tweak out. What's the craziest shit you've done like for a nigga or like about a nigga? Um, I hate to say I done pulled my gun on a oh, nigga man. before. I hate to say that, but that's way extreme. We're going to leave that one alone. <laughs> If we gonna take it down a notch, the craziest thing I done did, probably like throw a nigga keys in the woods or something like he he tried me, I threw a nigga keys in the woods. He had to go find them bitches. Um I also <laughs> I remember one day this nigga tried to pull off on me. I forgot what we was arguing about, but I was I was in, on the passenger side of the car with the door open mm -hmm. and he was trying to drive up the street <laughs> and I'm just in the car like I'm in the middle of the door in the car, like standing on the little thing, like my arm right here. He just driving up the street. He like, get his partner in the car, in the passenger seat. Oh, his shit. partner in the passenger seat. He in the driver's seat. I'm on the passenger door like this. He like, twin, why you ain't close the door? Why you ain't close the door? I'm like, man, fuck that. Stop playing with me. Da, da, da. He like, no, bro, get the fuck off the car. I'm like, no, where the fuck is you going? Like, all this oh, shit. shit. Like, oh, yeah, no, you <laughs> tripping, like, straight tripping. Like, I don't know, but now I'm a little older. I ain't doing all that. If nigga want to leave, you can go. <laughs> I'm not doing all that. But yeah, I did. Do, that was that was crazy to me. And when I think back, I'm like, why the fuck was I on this man's car like that? <laughs> right. And speaking of being older, you got a kid now. When did you have a kid? Um, when I was 19. I'm 25 now. I'm finna yeah, be 26. How, how did that like change your life? Um, a lot. Shit. I don't. I don't know. Like before, I had a kid. I was. Mm, like I said, I got locked up at 18. Right. So um. When I first got pregnant, that was like the end of my little phase. You know what I'm saying? Like that little phase I was going through 16, 17, 18, all that. Like from 2016, I had my baby in 2017. So 2016, no, from like 2015 to like 2017, I was going through a little phase or something. I don't know what the hell I was going through. <laughs> but when I got pregnant, I didn't even know I was pregnant till like I was like three months. But I just knew because I kept throwing up and shit. And my mama, my mama knew, she the one who called it out. Cause one day I'm in the car riding with her and I couldn't hold that shit. And I threw up, I'm like, I'm gonna ask her for a bag or something. I threw up like a bunch of yellow shit. She like, bitch, you pregnant? I was like, no. She was like, what the fuck? Yeah, she is. She, she touched my throat or something. It's something about a female throat. I don't know, my mama be saying it. Like, she just said this shit the other day. We was talking about somebody. Cause I was like, guess who pregnant or whatever. And my brother was like, you? I was like, hell no. And she was like, that bitch ain't pregnant. I could look at her throat and tell. I was like, what the fuck? What you mean you could look at my throat? <laughs> but anyway, so this day I'm riding in the car with her. She said something about my throat. She was like, bitch, your throat, something, something, something. I was like, oh, what the hell? So I went and got a pregnancy test and I was pregnant. Yeah. She knew. I didn't know why I was throwing up. I thought I was sick or something. But yeah, that was crazy. Um, So yeah, that changed me a lot because my mama, that's why I brought my mama up because after. The beginning of my pregnancy, me and my mom was not getting along. She ain't like the shit or something, I don't know. But at the end of my pregnancy, she was all for it. But um, she had a baby around the same time, too. That's what's crazy. My little sister, seven. My son, six. He finna be seven in December. My sister just turned seven in February. And they look just alike. So everybody be thinking I got two kids. They be like, they twins, they twins. I be like, no, that's my sister, that's my son. Like, no. I be having to explain it to everybody. They're going to grow up like that, though. They're going to grow up like brother and sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they is. They already close as hell. Yeah. And so, like, do you, are you more, like, I want to say cautious, but mindful of, the like, the things you do and shit like that now that you have it? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. 
I, I be having, I be, see my friend, I ain't gonna disclose her identity, <laughs> but my friend pregnant right now, and I be trying to tell her, like, girl, and she older than me, so it's like, she just not having her first child, so it's like, I'm trying to explain to her, like, girl, it's gonna change you, like, I can't explain it, I can't explain it, yeah. it's just, everybody knows, like, when they have a child, you just know, like, you have to automatically think for two people, you cannot think for yourself and not think about the child, like, because right. the child can't think for itself, like, I don't know. I'm trying to tell her, but <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely crazy. And um, seeing how this world going and shit, do you try to keep your son away from watching certain shit or anything like that? Hell yeah, but it's hard. God <laughs> damn, it's hard. I be, I man, I swear, I be telling him, stay off of YouTube. Get on Netflix. Get on Paramount, Tubi, something. Get the fuck off of YouTube. Like, YouTube be having so many crazy things. And see, my son love Five Nights at Freddy. You know what that is? Nah. Bro, when you get some time, look this shit up. It's the scary ass animal little fucking character <laughs> things. I don't know what the fuck. They be doing crazy shit, killing people and shit. I be telling him, why are you watching this? It pisses me off that he watch it. But he be, he be watching this shit. I be telling him, put something else on. But he like Transformers and other shit too, so. He be watching a little different shit, but. I don't know what's up with that Five Nights at Freddy shit. Like, <laughs> why do they got that for kids? I don't understand. But he play Roblox. He be playing Call of Duty. He be playing GTA. Oh, okay, he so. know he knows some little shit. <laughs> <laughs> he knows some little shit. Yeah. No, that's what's up. No, also too, I wanted to bring up a post I had seen you uh, <laughs> made. Oh Lord. And it was like, um, I literally get up and make some shake every day. I do not want people around me with no ambition. I cannot <laughs> fuck with no I'm trying ass nigga. Trying is failing. I really get shit done. I cannot fuck with a motherfucker who comfortable with nothing. I cannot sit around, chill, kick it. We need to be making some money. I do not want to sit in nobody's face. Facts. <laughs> no cap ass, pump faking shit around. You just going off. <laughs> what, what inspired that post? Like a nigga, a nigga can't try? Nah, I wasn't saying that. Oh shit, maybe I need to um, maybe I need to make another post because I wasn't saying a nigga can't try. What I'm saying is, how long is a nigga gonna try? Like, I feel like I don't know how to describe it. Everybody should try. I'm not saying motherfuckers shouldn't try, but I know for a fact that if if you keep trying and trying and trying and nothing's happening, then you should try something else or try something else. I don't watch people literally sit on their ass and not do nothing. Like, literally think somebody else is finna take care of them or literally, oh, I'm try I've am i been trying to put in applications. I've been trying to do this and that. What the fuck is you trying? I don't see you trying to do nothing. You've been trying and you ain't getting shit done. I don't understand it. Mm. Like, when I try to do shit, I get shit done or I try something else. Like, if it don't work for me that time, I'm going to try something else or I might come back and try it again a different type of way. Regardless, all that I'm trying, I'm trying, nigga, either you gonna do it or you not. Like, what the hell? I don't understand. Bills be coming up and shit like that, motherfuckers. I'm trying to pay this bill. Are you gonna pay the bill or you not? Right. Is your shit gonna be cut off or you gonna pay the bill? Like, it's like, a motherfucker's supposed to try, but it's, you only supposed to try for so long. You supposed to try till you can get to a point where you can do. Yeah. You're not supposed to keep trying all your goddamn life. What the fuck? You're supposed to be doing. I done tried and tried and now I'm doing. Everybody should try and try until they get to the point where they find something that they can do. Period. Like, but other parts of that post, I, motherfuckers do be comfortable with not having nothing. They just be chilling. I don't care if I got $100,000 in my pocket right now. I'm going to try to figure out how to get $200,000. I need more. I don't never want to just be comfortable with just having, like, I'm never going to wake up and be like, I got enough money, I cannot make no money today. Like, what the fuck, no. If somebody hit me about some money, I'm gonna make it. Somebody want a graphic design, I say I'm taking a day off, I'm gonna get up and get on that computer. Right. Like, period, like, I just, I don't know. I don't like motherfuckers who sit around and not do nothing and then complain about shit or be in a fucked up position and not trying to change their position. Like, I done been in so many fucked up positions and I got to the point now, I got my own spot, like, shit like that. Like, I just had my own car, I'm finna get another one type shit, like. It's, it's it's past time to be trying. Like, we grown as hell. <laughs> like, we was trying when we was 16, 17, trying to get shit together. You can't keep trying when you down there 30 years old. Like, what the fuck is you trying to do now? Right. Like, what the fuck? I don't understand that shit. But now what inspired that post, I um I seen another post similar to that, and I don't really like to copy people's posts. I like to put in my own words. So I was just thinking, when I seen that post, I was just thinking about a bunch of shit this morning. So that's yeah. where that post came from. Oh, okay, cool. But I was literally just thinking, like, 
I literally said I was gonna get up and take a day off, but I'm not taking no day off. <laughs> I got shit to do. Like no, that's, that's that's that was the thing. Uh, what would you say like describes you? Like, if what, what makes you different? Different. Yeah. Um. The fact that I just be chilling. Like I'm real cool. Like I'm real. Like I don't think nobody really have nothing bad to say about me. Like, if it is, it probably be my attitude or. Mostly my attitude. I got an attitude problem. I might get irritated real fast or snap or something. But I, I be trying to keep myself together. Right. But I know I got an attitude problem. But other than that, um, I'm real. Just chill, I guess. Like, I don't do too much. Like, I, I hear a lot of niggas and, and even females say that bitches do too much. Like, right. motherfuckers just do too much. I don't do too much. Like, a motherfucker really told me one day, like, some of you girls be doing too much. Like, you don't do too much. Like. I ain't really get what that meant at first, but now I get it. Like, I just be chilling. Like, I be really wondering, like, what these other girls be doing to y'all? Like, <laughs> yeah, I be like, I just be chilling. Like, even my homegirls and stuff, they be like, girl, you just be chilling. You know what I mean? What the hell do people be doing? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Just A chill. Lot. Just vibe, twin. Like, <laughs> what that post said, just vibe, twin. Like, y'all was tripping. Vibe, just chill. Yeah, I just right. chill. I get money. I, I don't bother folks. I don't get into it with people. I don't do all that extra shit. Like, I'm just not extra. I'm extra, but I'm not extra. Type shit. Like, type shit. What would you say is like the hardest part of being an emerging artist? Um, Getting your music out there. Like getting people to see you, hear you and shit. Cause you might feel like you got a hard ass song, but you might get like 500 views or something like I know I'm supposed to get 5,000 views. Like it'd be hard, like, but they not hearing it. Like that's, that's the hardest part for me, like getting my shit out there to where people gonna actually hear it or see it type shit. Yeah. But my views and shit been going up too, so like my Instagram been going way up ever since I started back doing music. So I be having twelve K views, like you know how you got the little profile views type yeah. shit. I be like I just had fifteen K the other day. I said fifteen K, I never had fifteen K views. Like what the fuck is they looking for? <laughs> but I had fifteen K views. Now I say like thirteen, but it be fluctuating. But I see people watching my page now, so I'd be trying to be consistent and shit. Mm -hmm. We're like posting and shit like that. Have you um, put like money into your shit? Like mm -hmm. as far as investing in marketing and you know, just getting shit out there? Nah, that's what I haven't did. Um, the most money I'm putting in is like studio time, videos, stuff like that, um, photo shoots and stuff like that. Um, and then like platforms to drop my music, but I haven't really did no actual marketing, like distribution or nothing like that. Well, not necessarily distribution, just like. Say cheese post or some shit. Oh like yeah, that. like the little blog post and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I do need to try those. Yeah, yeah cause I be seeing folks with a little post like that. So yeah. Like you say, you don't need to try, just do it. Exactly. Yeah. See, you just caught me right there. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do that. To do yeah, cause do I do this. be seeing people repost their little post and they be like, they name so and so drop a song or something like. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna do that. Cause that go into what you were saying about like getting people more people to hear this shit. Mm -hmm. Cause I was just telling somebody like a lot of times people be thinking. A lot of artists like be thinking people not fucking with them or like just purposely skipping they post or not yeah. liking it. But genuinely, sometimes you don't come across the motherfuckers' timeline. Yeah, shit. it should like, be shadow banned. And yeah, all or like even because Instagram now be based off who you interact with the most. Yeah. So you can have all those followers, but if you only talk to a majority of like 15 of them, mm -hmm. that's who really going to see the shit. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like. So yeah, you definitely got it. And also too, like just posting little clips every day and shit like mm -hmm. that also because you really hard for real so like yeah, people gotta it. see that shit oh god yeah you know that's what i'm trying to do that's that's the that's the point i'm at now i need to shoot more visuals and stuff like that um and record my music like i said i just got back into it so a lot of songs i got is a little older i might never drop them or they just there like type mm -hmm. shit i got a couple of songs i can drop but i'd rather just make new music i feel like my music get better every time i make it so i just want to make new music like, i got a song right now i need to go record i got i just need to not try and right. do. do that's it. that that's the that's the words of the year the phrase right. for the year don't try nothing just do it what would you say is probably like your realest song ever the realest shit you ever wrote mm -hmm. um i got this song called drummer it's on um <clears throat> it's on all platforms it's on my ep that i dropped but um the hook i basically said they only love you when you having money i remember it was raining i wished it was sunny i used to sleep with no food in my tummy couple shots to your brain if you think i'm a dummy they already know how i'm coming pull up with that stick like a drummer it was times when i didn't have nothing and i got in my bag and started hustling 
So that song is that's a real song. Like the whole song, I was definitely saying some shit. Like, shit. and it's a Polo G um type beat. It's a, I mean, it's a, it's one of his beats. I forgot what song it is. Um, but yeah, it's one of his beats. So yeah, that song is real. Like, it's some shit you will listen to and be like, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, type shit. So you you the type of female artist where like niggas and women can listen to you. Exactly. And that's a whole nother thing. Like I be trying to promote my shit to niggas too because I know they'll listen to it too. Like yeah. like even before Glorilla came out, like she an example of what I mean though. Like how niggas be bobbing their heads her shit and she yeah. like like a nigga probably like, type her shit in depending on what song it is, type shit, or like depending on who in the room, like she's a party with some girls or something like that. They'll go type her name in and shit, play the shit, you feel me? Yeah. Like, I want niggas to type my name in. I want niggas to hear my song get saying the words or something like even if they just playing or something like I know a nigga not finna get lit and just be singing the shit like that, but I want a nigga to know my shit when they come on, like, oh this woo woo like you know what I'm saying? Like they know glow really shit when they come on, like they know certain people shit, like type shit. Even before she came out, that's the idea I had for her. Like she Niggas listen to her shit, females listen to her shit, like, and she be making songs with niggas and females, like, she got different yeah. type of versatility, that's the word. I'm Growing up, did you have more homeboys or homegirls? <laughs> <laughs> that's a crazy question. Um, I definitely had more homeboys. Oh, that's, what I, that's what I asked, because, like, what you, like, how you explaining your shit, that's what... That's kind of what I get from it, like, you know what I'm saying? Because you know what, yeah. how niggas is type shit. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't really hang around too many females. I be around a lot of niggas, even to this day, like, I just, I be around a lot of niggas. Like, even, even the girls I do be around, they be knowing, they be like, Casino gonna bring the niggas out, like, <laughs> she stay bringing the niggas out, like, I, I, I literally be in a club with a hundred niggas with me, like, deeper than the Navy, for real, like, people think I be lying in my raps, I don't lie. Like, everything I say in my raps is real, like, I, I don't, I'm, listen, <laughs> I be talking real shit, I don't do no capping. That's what's crazy. Like I know a lot of girls probably be lying in their raps and shit, but if it came down to it, I could prove any point I said. What you, who wanna burn some up? Oh, I, didn't you say this? Here you go, right here. Didn't you say this? Yeah, I just did that. Yeah. Like what, 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 what we talking about? All right, now for our next, I'm gonna I'm go tune in to, some, to your new shit and for our next interview, I'm gonna bring some shit up. Like, so what, what you was talking about right here? And I, I'm <laughs> gonna put some, put some on proof behind it. I ain't got to lie about nothing. That's one thing I don't do. Like. I hate when people get get on songs and just say anything like, yeah, it rhyme, but if somebody call you out, like, what you gonna say? <laughs> like, what you gonna say? Like, it ain't nothing for you to say. You gonna lie? You gonna back that lie up with another lie? Like, come on, I'll be for real. Yeah, no facts. So what, what you got coming next? Um, I'm working on an EP I'm finna drop for my birthday. Um, probably like five or six songs. Um, I'm gonna shoot another video this summer. It's probably when, gonna be real stuff. When, when your birthday? August 1st. Oh. Yeah, I'm probably about to shoot a video to Real Stepper. Mm, that's going to be coming up this summer. And I'm going to drop that before my birthday, and then I'm going to drop an EP. So that's pretty much all coming up. And then we're about to start filming for Baddies Make Music, too. Um, when y'all start that in June? Um, Yeah, we should be starting that next month. And then... Do you know what it's airing on? Pressure TV Network. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can find them on Instagram, too. And Baddies Make Music, too. Um, both of them on Instagram. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just about to start filming for this show. Um, I'm still doing my graphics and stuff like that. And then, uh, still going to the studio, shooting some more videos and dropping an EP. And that's pretty much, um, all I got planned for like this summertime. And then I replan something after my birthday. Type shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Let the people know where they can find you, follow you. Um, my Instagram is Trap Casino, T-R-V-P-K-A-S-I-N-O. Um, that's my Instagram. My business page for my graphics is One Casino GFX. So y'all can look me up on both of them pages. Yeah, and you make I seen you make like fire flyers for all the girls who need something for their nail business. Yeah, like. nail business, lash techs, um, hairstylists, whatever you do. If you got your own business, um, if you do clothes, if you do music, I do cover arts. Um, I do websites, I do logos, business cards, banners, literally anything you need for your business. Like literally. Type of shit. Shit. Say less, man. Trap Casino. Appreciate you tapping in. Yeah.